Right, here is the G code editor. So let me go here, let me open up a G code file. Now this is G code, I'm not sure about other types of file that they might be able to open, but here's a 10 millimeter square. It's basically a cube used as a test square to check your calibration, etc., etc. And see, it doesn't really show much there, there. But if I go on to the slider down here and slide backwards and forwards a bit, you'll see that an arrow has appeared. Let me scroll in the mouse wheel down now. And it's actually put it over here. I'm not sure why it's put it over there. I'm going to right click and drag the whole screen more near the center. I'm going to scroll the mouse wheel up a bit and right click to move it over a bit, center it. And I'm going to keep doing this till it comes a reasonable size. So I'm right clicking there and dragging the mouse and then I'm scrolling the mouse wheel to make it bigger to sort of zoom in. And I think this is the first layer. We can click on the layers and it shows you the direction that the extruder is going to take. Now I am asking for a raft on this, by the way. So let me go to layer two, and now it's sort of zigzagging to build up the bottom layer. When we can turn these off here, show movement, see? And the arrows would show the direction of what the extruder should be. So we can keep looking at different sort of layers by clicking on the layer. I can scroll down actually using the cursor keys. And now it's probably doing the infill, start doing the infill, I imagine. I'll just go through these a bit quick. But let me zoom in again with the mouse wheel. And you see how this is moving over as well. Let me go down a bit more and see how this layer slider bar is moving because I've come off that. It's okay. Let me right click and drag the display over. And now I can actually left click, double click there and see how it's I, I did these two yellow squares. Now watch the actual code as I do this. See how the code's changing on the left over there, the G code, as I move this about. So basically I've edited it, that one layer. Let me go back up a layer. See, that's the same. Back there, that's that layer. That's the next layer. So basically I can edit individual layers then I can go to save as, export, or what have you. I do zoom to fit, so that's gone down there. Zoom back in. So it seems to actually, when the pass comes in, sometimes it seems to knock the image out of line. I'm not sure what the data slide is about, to be honest. Unless there's a, like, yeah, can, well, that's data there. So let me do the data slider now, yes. So see how the data slider is almost changing the highlighted code there, depending where I put it, it seems to be to a certain extent. I'm not sure how that works, to be honest. Let me go there and, the data slider bar is moving. Okay, so we, we have some sort of level of control over this. I'm not going to actually save that because that's just a, a test to sort of show you. Let me zoom back in by scrolling the mouse wheel, move down by right-clicking the mouse wheel to drag that window. 
I can't remember what layer number I was on. That one, obviously. So presumably that's layer. We can drag this window over to the right a bit, I think. Yes, or left. But I'm not, I don't know about this window here, which is a shame. That I don't think I can actually drag that window open. Let's go down to the Oh, it's last layer there, so that's finishing off. Okay. And we can do things like uh, inverse selection, I think. Select to invert, I don't know. You see, that seems to have changed all these blocks that I can click on any one of these, I think, and move them about. You can click on that because that is certainly one of them. So that would make the extruder sort of move over there when it gets to that layer if I selected that. That's just a very basic sort of introduction. I ask you to support this person with a PayPal donation.